this is Sean from Ace Appliance in Toledo, Ohio. Welcome back to another in-home diagnostic video brought to you by Appliancevideo.com. All right, we're on a Maytag top load washer. Uh, complaint is that it will only fill with water. We arrived, the uh, front panel here has already been removed. Um, so we're just gonna leave that off, uh, only aid in our diagnosis. All right, the tools you need to complete this repair are number two Phillips screwdriver, which I've incorporated in my drill, and an AC voltage tester. Okay, first thing I'm going to start at, uh, I've already uh, verified it just sits here in the spin cycle with the timer on. Um, I'm going to go ahead and access here. I just want to check out the lid switch. So there are two screws on the top that I'm going to have to remove. And then with those removed, I can then swing out our control panel to access our lid switch. This is back here. Okay, now that we have up here by our lid switch, I'm going to go ahead and turn the timer on in the spin cycle here. And uh, basically, I'm just going to make sure my wiring that I have power go through. So I just have my AC voltage tester. And it's just going to, if we have power going through something, it'll show, which there's nothing there. Nothing going up to our fuse here, which is our main component of this lid switch, where the main power is going to go through. Um, so with no power being there, what I'm going to now do is obviously turn that off so we stop filling with water. Get it back into a spin cycle. So that way I can just double check my wires here. So the, the switches are functioning, but there's nothing going through the fuse. Alright, so now that I know that there's no power there, I'm going to refer to my wiring schematic, uh, and then that way I can check back to the next uh, electrical component. Okay, after I found out I didn't have any power going to the uh, lid switch, I tracked it back according to the schematic, uh, and then it, it should have then been feeding off the water level switch. I didn't have any power there. And according to the schematic, it then came from the motor and the timer. Well, I had power out of the motor, so I didn't have any out of the timer. And when we turn the timer on, it still doesn't function. But if I push down on the knob, it does function. So basically, we just have some bad contacts in the timer. Um, and that's causing our problem. So what I'll do is I'll get an estimate together to replace the timer and uh, we can go from there. All right, uh, co original complaint was that the unit would only fill with water. Uh, what we ended up finding out is that the timer is uh, damaged, bad contacts in it. Uh, so the way to fix this would be to replace the timer. Thank you for watching another quality in-home diagnostic video brought to you by appliancevideo.com.